There are only 4 days and few hours left of the enrolling window for the IFC JS crash course, which could very well be the start in your journey as a BIM software developer. Hey friends, welcome back to BIM Voice. My name is Petro Conduraro, and in this video, I would like to remind you that there are just a few days left for everyone who could be interested to join in this course. Before I dive in, please allow me to thank you very much for subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing anything BIM related and helping our industry becoming more digitized, efficient, and sustainable. All right, now let's dive in. As you can see right here, there are 40 days and 14 hours and 56 minutes left to join in this course. Now, let's find out what is this course about. This course is one of the many courses on how you can become a BIM software developer. And you might wonder why would you be interested in this kind of course, right? Well, have you ever thought about creating your own BIM software? Like maybe Solibri or Navisworks or maybe Revit, who knows? But you don't know where to start, right? IFCJS got you covered. As we can see here, whether you are a complete beginner or an advanced developer, learn how to create professional standalone 3D BIM software with us. And here what we can see, what are the main points they try to highlight on this section of their website. BIM developers are among the most demanded and best paid profiles in the industry. Improve your working conditions and aspire to better paid and more valued jobs. This goes without saying, like I don't need to explain this. Right now, I have many friends in my network that have switched from engineering or architecture to programming jobs. And of course, because the demand is higher, there are more opportunities because if you want to work outside the AAC, you have that option as well. You can go and work for other industries. And not only that, the conditions are also better, better paying jobs most of the time, right? The second point they try to highlight here is creating software can be intimidating, but it's actually very creative and fun. Yes, it's exactly like when you are molding something. It's the same, but you do this with code, of course. And that's why it's creative. People don't really understand this, don't see it like this, but it's very creative, actually. And if you like a more creative job, then this is for you. Do you have an idea about the next BIM application that will revolutionize the market? Take the plunge and do it with us. We'll give you a hand and share our experience as full-time BIM developers. So if you have an idea, like I mentioned before, if you want to build your next Solibri or Revit, or who knows, maybe a completely new kind of software that can revolutionize and disrupt our industry, then you can use this library, ICJS, and you can learn how to build your own application, right? This can become maybe your own startup. Who knows? The possibilities are unlimited. Now, please understand this. I'm not promoting this course because I want you to leave all the engineering and architecture jobs and go and become programmers. No, no, no. I think actually on top of all these points right here mentioned, you don't really need to leave the industry. You can still working in your job. And I still think with the skills you can learn in this course can make you more valuable. And we need this kind of people. We need people that can do more stuff, automate stuff and come up with revolutionary solutions to make our industry better, to make our industry more sustainable. We need that. It's very, very important. And this is my goal here. And very important to understand something else. IFCJS, it's an open source software. So you don't need to pay anything for this library. You can contribute if you want, either with coding your time or by a donation. And you can use this code to do whatever application you want and you can have it only for yourself if you wish that or you can share it with everyone else and people will keep building on top of that or you can share some features or some part of the development you did so far. So the possibilities are limitless here. It's only up to you what you want to do. Another reason why you might be interested to join this course is maybe you feel stuck in your job right now. Maybe you are a drafter, maybe you are an architect, maybe you are an engineer, a BIM coordinator, a BIM modeler or something, right? And maybe you need a spark, you need something new, something that can make your skills even more valuable. You should definitely give it a try to this and see, maybe it is something for you, you know? I never knew I would like coding before I tried it, right? And when I tried it, I discovered that, I, that actually I really like it and I want coding to be part of my everyday life. Maybe that's the case for you as well, at least to some degree. You never know until you try it, right? Okay, now let me scroll down. Four companies. BIM software is relatively expensive and does not always suit our needs. 
Furthermore, making our business dependent on a third-party license that can change at any time and compromise our data is a risky gamble. Now you have the power to create professional BIM solutions that don't depend on third-party license. Start creating a BIM platform for your clients, integrate it with GIS and your databases and take full control of your business. Yes, that is possible with this library and not only with this. Of course, it's possible with other libraries, with other softwares, but like, for example, IFC OpenShell. But here is the first course specially tailored for architects, engineers, drafters, or whatever other professionals in AAC. Here we can see course list. At this moment, this is going to be the first one. This is the first course. And why you might be interested to join this course right now? You can do it later as well. But people joining in this course will get some interesting perks that you can use along the way. I think we can read more on that later on. So here, IFCJS Crash Course. This course is designed as the start of the journey for a BIM software developer. If you have never programmed before or have no experience with web technologies, this is for you. In 20 hours of video, you will learn the secrets to create 3D BIM applications from scratch, whether you are a beginner or an advanced developer. And here, the price of this course is going to be $100, but if you are aware about IFCJS already, and if you are a patron, then you will already be able to apply some discounts. I'll go deeper into the price of this later on when we get to that section. And here are some frequently asked questions with answers, of course. What do I get when I sign up for a course? All courses include videos, lectures, structure, written notes describing the step-by-step -step process, all code exercises developed, access to the exclusive student community, exclusive access to hackathons and access to teachers to guide you in your learning. So this is what you get here. You'll get access to these hackathons if you join now, right? Each course has its own detailed page explaining the content you will learn in it. I want to take a course. What do I have to do? Just visit the page of the course you want to do. There will be a link, enrollment process. Some courses are not yet published. In this case, there will be a form where you can leave your email address and we will let you know when the course is ready. Hang on because at the end I will show you how you can join the course step by step. Can I apply for a course discount? You can visit the specific discount page where the conditions and procedure do apply for a discount are explained. I will get to that soon. How can I become part of the IFCJS community? Very simple. Open collective. Here is one place and here is the other one. The Discord server. Very important. Join here. Just click this, open it, create an account on Discord if you don't have already one. But if you are part of other Discord communities, then this will just be added automatically there as a new server. So you just click here and yeah, it's very simple, very straightforward. Just click this and follow all the steps and you will end up there. Cool. Here you can see the open collective where you can see how much people can contribute and who is contributing and what is happening with the money everything is very transparent and these guys don't want to pay themselves with this money they want to invest all the money in the development of this platform of this library so it's very very important to have that in mind all the money from all these courses will be invested in hackathons where people can get rewarded for working to fix some important issues here we can see the cheapest plan to become a patron is this one $5 a month and here is for companies $50 a month. Here you can do whatever donation you want and here is the IFC JS course and here is the discounted version of the course. Let's see. So this is the landing page and now if I go here to discounts, here you can see how this works. We care about our community. All the money we charge for the courses will go back into the community in the form of events, hackathons, prizes and much more. However, not everyone is the same and we want to make the price as fair as possible to everyone. There are two cases where a discount is applied to the course price. Patreon discount is the first one. Patrons are the backbone of our community. They have supported the project since its inception and it would not be fair if the course prices for them were the same as for someone who does not belong to the community yet. Corporate Patreons, they have all the courses for free for all their employees. In addition, they are entitled to exclusive live sessions to resolve doubts about the lessons, decision-making power over future lessons and courses. Like This is hugely powerful and plus value proposition right here for a company to get access for all the employees. This is crazy cheap, like $50 a month. It's nothing. Patrons, for every consecutive month they have been patrons, they can apply $15 discount on all courses up to a maximum of $25. This is a bit misworded here, I would say, because not the maximum discount is $25, but you can up your discount until you can pay as little as $25. So I would ask Antonio to change the wording a bit 
here because I read it a bit confusing because you could say that, yeah, it's a $50 discount until you reach $25. So th what's that? Two discounts? Two months? Doesn't really make sense, right? So maybe here would be better to put $75 because that would make sense, right? You can stack up the discounts until you get a discount of $75, which is going to be 75% discount. But here the example clarifies this and makes it easier to understand what he does really mean with this. So for example, a patron who has been enrolled for three months has all courses at $100 minus three multiplied by 15, which will give us a price of $55. Like let's say that you enrolled in April. I think maybe you can do it even before joining the course. Sorry for that, Antonio, you just lost $15 for everyone becoming a patron before enrolling in the course, but actually it's $10 because they will contribute $5 and you lose $10 in this case, but I hope you get more patrons. The more people join, the better. So like I said, if you join now, and you get a discount of $15, then you will end up paying $85, right? This is a reasonable price. At the same time, it can be quite high price for different countries in the world because the economy is not going so well, right? But we will get that on the next section right here, adaptive discount. And the last tier here on the Patreon discount, patrons who have made a big one-time donation over $100. These patrons can access courses for free as soon as the sum of the price of those courses doesn't surpass the donated amount. For example, if a patron has donated $200 in a one-time payment, they can access two courses for free. Then you have that there as well. Cool. Now let's go to the part where there are people that cannot afford because $85 or $100 can be a lot of money for some countries. The world is diverse and there is not the same amount of money in every country. However, we do not want anyone to be left out of the community for this reason. If you live in a country where the average salary is less than $1,000 per month, you are automatically entitled to this discount. In case the price of the course equals 100 multiplied by the average salary in your country divided by 1000. For example, imagine you live in Egypt, average salary around $600. In that case, the course would cost you $100 multiplied by $600 divided by 1000, which will give you a final price of $60. You can also stack this discount with the Patreon discount. For example, if you live in Egypt, average salary is $600 and you have been a patron for three months, the course would cost you only $100 minus three multiplied by 15 multiplied by 0 0.6, which will give you a price of only $33. I think this is very fair. Having in mind that this can boost your career hugely or you could build the next Revit or Navisworks, I think this is a very, very small investment and of course requires your time. But how much personally you will grow by doing this and joining this community, I think it's a no brainer. Very important to remember, I do not get paid to promote this. This video right here is just my own honest opinion about this platform, about this community, about this library. I do not benefit in any way. I just want to support as much as I, as I can open source for architecture, engineering and construction. And not only that, I really believe in this. I really believe this is a path worth following. Now, if you want to get any kind of discount before you go and join the course, you need to do this because you will not be able to apply the discount without this. You need to contact them using email name, last name, check this and the message you need to explain your situation. For example, let's say that you just joined Patreon and you can say, I just joined Patreon on 27th of April and I will have a discount of $50. That's it. And when they get to that email, they will send you back a link that you can use and apply that discount. So simple it is. Now, how you do that? Of course, I will definitely leave a link in the description of this video. So in order to get to this homepage, you can go here to courses.ifcjs.io right here at the top, as you can see. But like I said, I will leave a link in the description. So don't worry about that. Now, how do you get to sign up? You go here and click on start your Beam developer journey. And here you can see a short video and you can click here on start learning now. Here we can see also some images of a model viewer. And here is the structure of this course actually. This course is going to have six chapters, 90 lessons and 20 hours of video. In the first chapter, you will learn about HTML. I will not go deeper in this, but this is what you will learn about the syntax, text, images, links, lists and tables, blocks and inline. The second one is CSS, which is the technology to make the web and some multi-platform apps look beautiful. Every web page uses CSS to style it, right? Like HTML is like the skeleton and CSS is everything that makes it beautiful. Colors, font sizes, font families, and everything else. And now JavaScript is the third chapter here. 
and JavaScript is making it interactive and is the programming language. JavaScript is one of the world's most popular programming languages. It underlies all web applications and many server and cross-platform applications. It is essential to know it to create web-based BIM applications. And here you will learn about JavaScript, then you will have tooling and you will learn about NPM packages, bundling, Git introduction, Git Kraken, GitHub pages and so on. And in the fifth chapter, we learn about 3.js, which is the most popular 3D JavaScript library. And this is what IFCJS is using and building on top of it. It's based on WebGL and works in web application and many multi-platform software. We won't only cover the foundations, but also some advanced visualization techniques. And of course, the last chapter, IFCJS. In this section, we are going to get into IFCJS in depth to create a bunch of 3D BIM applications capable of extracting data from IFC, visualizing it efficiently and beautifully, editing it, saving it in schedules and databases, user authentication, and much more. Now, I don't know how Rafael gave already a review for this. Maybe he is a corporate Patreon and uh, they got already trained. So it is possible, but looks good. Here are the same questions, of course. And now if you want to join, this is the final part. This is how you join. You click there, start learning now. And here you put in everything. You check this and when you click subscribe, this is the place where your discount will take into account if you want to do that. So that's why you need to send in the form. And after doing that, you will need to use the link you will get from IFCJS. And you just need to follow the steps and you will get in. And I think the course will start on 8th of May or something like that, somewhere around that date. They are still polishing it, they are still finishing it. So this is going to be really, really exciting. This video became longer than I planned, but I think it's very important to explain it as well as I can from my personal understanding. So you know what you get yourself into. A very, very important remark right here is that you will learn how to become a programmer. So you will not just learn how to use this platform. You will learn how to develop your platform. It's very important to understand that because sometimes I get these questions regarding a specific functionality of IFCJS. IFCJS is not an end user application. IFCJS is a starting point, a library that you can use to build your own applications. If you have any questions, if you think I missed anything, or if you have any kind of feedback, I'm really looking forward to it. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about this. Are you as pumped up as myself about this? Do you see any value in this? Or what else do you think about this? Let me know, because I really think that a revolution is happening right now in our industry. And you might not heard about this term before, BIM developer, BIM software developer. But I promise you something, in few years, this is going to be something as spread as BIM coordinator or BIM manager, because there is a huge demand of this kind of professionals. So if you see any value in that, take the course. You will not regret it. It is very affordable and what you will learn will be much more valuable than the money you will pay for this. 